Hey Scorpio, it's Goddess Puff, and this is what they don't want you to know for August 2021. Let's jump straight into it with an oracle card message for Scorpio's person. What does a Scorpio's person want them to know, Spirit? What does a Scorpio's person want them to know? And last shuffle, what does a Scorpio's person want them to know? All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, we have ferret observant so they're watching you <laughs> that's what they don't want you to know they're watching you scorpio stage beetle or sorry stag i should have looked this up stag beetle tenacity owl wisdom dang dropped it <laughs> This person is determined to get you back. Based on the history between you two, they're going to use the things that worked in the past to try to get you back. Black cat independence. So they're going to put on this persona. So I feel like, in the, let me let me get the last card and I'm going to go into it. Black hound foreboding. Yep. So this person, they're going to use their history with you. And what worked in the past to get you back. This person's watching you. They see that you're being very independent. Or they're afraid of you becoming that. Because I feel like you're a very self-sufficient person. And this person sees that. So they're going to try to either mimic that to attract you. It's like you get things done. You're a hard worker. You're a go-getter. You go after what you want. And you get it. You're very wise. They think very highly of you. But this person also, they're going to mimic that behavior or they just have that in them. And they're going to use that. They're going to watch you from afar. And they're going to act very independent to draw you in. That's what they're going to do. Yes, this person's not going to reach out to you now. They're being really smart. It's, bottom line is they're trying to draw you in. Let me get into the tarot, though. And get more info for Scorpio. What does my person want them to know? What doesn't Scorpio's person want them to know? And last shuffle. What doesn't Scorpio's person want them to know? Scorpio? So we have the chariot, cancer. You could be dealing with the cancer. It may benefit you to watch the cancer reading. We have the four of wands. This person's coming to your house. They're going to come visit you at your home. Five of pentacles because they feel lost without you. <laughs> that song by Robin Thicke, Lost Without You, came, into, came to me instantly. So you may want to listen to that song or someone may have listened to it recently. We have the Three of Cups. Yep. I mean, this is straightforward. This person feels the Five of Pentacles without you. And the Five of Pentacles is feeling like you're not enough or you don't have enough. Feeling depleted, alone, down, out. All alone. And they want to reunite with you. They want to come home for some of you if, they, if you live with this person or you're married to this person. They want to be back at home. They want to be back with you. They're coming to their, your house. They feel down, out, and alone and low without you. They want a reunion and reconciliation with the Seven of Pentacles. This person wants to invest in you long term and invest in this long term, Cancer. They want you and they need you person wants to win. maybe they didn't invest in you properly in the past with the seven of pentacles because that's reevaluating an investment and trying to reinvest as well so this person feels like maybe they didn't value you or appreciate you in the past but they are coming to your house or your um your place of work because they just feel alone and down and out without you they don't feel good without you they want a reunion or reconciliation clarify this for can i mean so i said cancer clarify this for scorpio clarify this message for scorpio please spirit i'm gonna give y'all two more extra shuffles clarify this for scorpio Ooh. clarify this message for my scorpio and if you are interested in any of the beautiful crystal rings that I am currently wearing, click the link in the description box to see more pictures of them and order them on IG. Now, clarifying the chariot is the star Aquarius. 
Yeah, this person's coming straight to you to heal this. I mean, they're coming straight. And then the full Aquarius again. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Cancer or someone who has those signs heavily aspected. And then overall energy, I'm going to show you now. It's the Five of Pentacles. So again, look at this card. Crying, sad, feeling low, empty. Just lost without you. This person feels lost without you. And they want to heal this. They're coming towards you to heal the situation. They want a new beginning with you. That's what the fool is. They want a new beginning with you. Definitely watch that Cancer reading and the Aquarius reading. Because it may give you more details. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Four of Wands. They're ready to work on this. If they physically need to work on a home, they will do the home improvement. But they are ready to heal this situation with you. And then the Three of Pentacles, I cut the deck and I see the Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you as a team, homie, lover, and friend, okay? <laughs> they want to be with you. They, they're they ready to put in the work on this marriage, this home, this union, whatever. And then the Five of Cups, they're disappointed about the past, ashamed, crying over this. Trust and believe this person has shed many tears. And I'm thinking of that song by Frank Ocean, There Will Be Tears. I think that's what it's called. But we have the Ace of Wands. Without you, all this person feels like they have is like passion or sex. For those of you who have been separated from this person for a long time or thinking about divorce or whatever happened between you two, this person wants to come back in because they can't have they don't have any zest for life without you. Without you, the world feels gray and bleak to them. Like because clarifying the five of pentacles is the ace of wands, you are their inspiration, you are their muse. They feel lost without you, down and low without you. I mean, they feel like you're their Ace of Wands. Without you, life is boring. Because the Ace of Wands is fire. It's exhilaration. It's zest for life. It's passion. It's that sacral chakra, fiery, creative, passionate energy. And without you, they don't have that. They see you as a soulmate twin flame. And in the Seven of Cups, illusion, delusion. This person just don't know what to do without you. I mean, the Seven of Cups in this situation, clarifying the Five of Pentacles, they feel like they don't have no other options. I mean, they may have other options, of course, with the Seven of, Pen Seven of Cups. They have other options, but they don't want them. They want you. Like, we always have the option to go elsewhere. So do you. You have many options as well. But they don't want nobody else. They feel low without you. Like, these options don't matter to them. They get that Ace of Wands from you. If you've been separated for a while, this person may have slept around with a lot of people, but it, it made them feel empty inside. Now, for those of you who you have been separated for a while, you're still dealing with this person, or you just recently separated, they they don't want the other options. Regardless, whatever you fall on, they don't want the other options. They just want you. Clarifying the Three of Cups is the Queen of Swords, Air, Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, again. With that air, that Aquarius. And we have the strength card, Leo. So, and then we have the in, clarifying independence. Okay, so they see you as the queen of swords. No matter how you identify, what gender you identify as. The um, feminine is hero is receiving and the masculine is the one taking action. They see you as the queen of swords. They want to get back with you. They see you as very independent. Like I said, with that black cat independence, they see you as very wise very cutthroat very straightforward very cutting with your words and clear-headed they see you as someone who's very strong and independent and self-sufficient and they love that that entices them that brings that fire to them that ace of wands i mean look at you literally pulling it out of your mouth you speak with conviction i mean you are who you say you are you walk the talk as they say and like they just no one else can do it for them you you just do it for this person, okay? They get they may have had many options or dated many options, but you are just the one time and time again who just does it for this person. So that and they they're gathering all their strength to match your energy and speak to you because they want a reunion and reconciliation with you. They want to invest in you long term. They felt like they didn't appreciate you enough in the past and they're ready to reinvest in this. They want to come back to your home. They are going to pull up. I'm going to let you know that right now. This person is going to pull up and they are going to put in the work. And now, if this is for the month of August 2021. It may be very soon for others of you, but by the end of August, you will hear from this person. So this person is just again lost without you. I mean, that's that's what this reading is. They just lost without you. They are going to pull up to your house or your job. 
and they just feel low. Five of Pentacles here twice without you. And they, trust me, they're wiser from this split. If you split up with this person or you're planning on it, they, with the Owl of Wisdom, they're very wise. They've reached that clarity or they will very soon because they're very confused. Again, they're cycling through these other options, but they're just not doing it for them. They, they're crying over you the whole time. And they are going to pull up and they are going to do the necessary work to heal this. This isn't just some fraudulent reconciliation, okay? So don't come at me with them bitter comments. This person is dead serious. This person is going to do the work if you allow them to. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. That is up to you. It's your life. You don't have to take them back. You got other options as well. This person doesn't have to be the end-all, be-all. But this person, if you do take them back, they are going to put in the work because they see you in the situation clearly and they see that they are they don't have that same zest for life without you. Like I said, no one else can do it for them. So if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in this beautiful crystal jewelry, the link is in the description box below to see more pictures on the Instagram. And I send you peace, blessings, and love, Scorpio. Namaste.